everyone to vlog number zero which will be covering my trip from Lebanon to Armenia and it will be the whole story in the airport and uh, the week I'm gonna spend in Armenia before going to Dilijan. Uh, so now we're on, our, on the road and we're heading to the airport. It's 7 a.m. here and my flight is somewhat around 11 so I'm going really early because uh, I had some passport troubles and uh, paper troubles before. So to avoid that, we're going really early. I just arrived to Yerevan. This is in the tube. We just got out of the airplane. And this is amazing. I don't know, I, I didn't even go to the city yet, but I feel so excited and I feel so in love. So you will see the Armenian airport right now. So right now it's the first time that I got out of the house today and I'm meeting this amazing street and every street has names and I'm really confused uh, but I'm really happy so let's see Armenia so now we're on the road called Avedik Isahagyan the Isahagyan street and this is something new in Armenia that they are doing this kind of uh, it's not like a shop, but it's like a small museum, something like that, small library uh, dedicated to the person. In this case, it's Avedik Isagyan. So at the end of the street named after him, they're making this place in which they're storing all the books and all the works of this person. So this is the statue of Alexander Tamanyan and he is one of the main architectures of all Armenia, the modern Armenia. Uh, he's put the basics, bases of uh, so many of the famous Armenian buildings right now and this is the map. So this is the statue of one of the greatest Armenian music composers ever. Uh, he was a priest and his name is Gomidas. Uh, they called him Gomidas Vartavet, which means Gomidas the priest. Uh, he lived uh, during the uh, 20th century, early 20th century, and he has composed so many things. And he has built the greatest choir in Armenian history. Uh, which is over 400 uh, members. So this is just like Gomidas, another Armenian composer. Actually he is a much, much, much more famous composer because his music is uh, known worldwide. Uh, his name is Aram Khachadurian and he is the mastermind behind the Sabre Dance. Uh, it's so, and you can hear his music uh, being played at the back. And just behind him is the opera, and it's one of the greatest uh, stages in Armenia. So this is called Garabilic, which translates into uh, Swan Lake, 
and usually there are swans here apparently but this year they haven't uh, brought them I don't know for what reason and they told me that during winters uh, this whole uh, lake is, uh, is ice basically and people come and do ice skating over it so this is called Pubulak, uh, which is basically a water fountain in the middle of the street and you can find it all over Yerevan and it's basically a solution for buying water so instead of buying water bottles uh, you can just stop by uh, drink it and walk away so just now we arrived at the Republic Square of Yerevan and it is one of the greatest places in here as well uh, you can see that there are dancing fountains and those dancing fountains do it on, based on the rhythm of the music. And every day the music is dedicated to someone or like a certain style of uh, music. For example, it's either jazz or it can be another, uh, another composer. So we just arrived to an amazing museum down the house that I'm staying at and it is the museum of printing and we can see that it has so many amazing stuff and this is the first printed map of the whole entire world. Uh, other than this we can find a lot of stuff about uh, Greek mythology or even Armenian mythology. It, it's amazing. <laughs> And this is the room just next to it. Since it's the Museum of Printing, they have set up a printing uh, room or something, and they have uh, they have all the kinds of printings, uh, all the kinds of printing machine printers uh, back in the old days, and coming all the way to the new style and all. It's absolutely amazing, and they have the. Uh, tools necessary for it. For example, here they uh, they use those uh, inverted uh, metal letters, and these are the pictures of them. Uh, just beside it, you can see the new technology: uh, phones and tablets and laptops and floppy disks. Uh, and here is the same thing, but it's not only Armenian. It's uh, I think it's Chinese. Yes, it's it's Chinese printing. So a few years ago, in 2012, uh, when they completed the 500th anniversary of Armenian printing history, uh, this this sample 
of the Armenian alphabet was sent to was sent to the moon as a tribute to the Armenian alphabet and the Armenian history of printing. Well, throughout the city, every block or two, there are lots of sculptures, and this one right here is one of them. It's called Book Your Future. I'm sorry, it's not obvious. So it's basically saying the metal sculpture is made up of uh, letters from 19 existing alphabets of the word, symbolizing the future man, and that the author created it uh, in the presence of the audience during the events of Yerevan Word Book Cap. Uh, since uh, 2012, Yerevan was uh, announced as the capital, uh, as the world capital of books. So this is the sculpture, and it's a man made up of letters, symbolizing the unity of uh, the future. So right now I'm on the North Avenue and uh, it's one of the most famous streets and today is a big day because we're going to visit the memorial, it's a memorial for the Armenian Genocide and uh, then we're going to visit uh, the museum just, uh, just beside it. So now I'm at this place, I'm waiting for my relatives uh, to come down and take me there. And I think I'm late, like seven minutes or so. So we just arrived to the place, and it's a really quiet one. You can hear uh, the church playing at the back. And this is the fire uh, that is in the memory of Armenian genocide. And this fire never goes down. So it's basically an immortal fire. That's what it's called. So I just got out of the museum. Unfortunately, it wasn't possible to take pictures or to make a video inside, so I couldn't actually document anything. But I can say it's amazing. It's pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, it covers all the aspects of the Armenian history, uh, starting from uh, the late 1800s and at the beginning of the 1900s and all of the immigration and everyone, especially the orphans, the women, uh, it has everything in it. It's one of the main museums of Armenia. So I was just walking in Yerevan and I was really hungry. With my friend, we decided to go to a Lebanese store and eat a shawarma sandwich. And there I, I met a guy I knew from Lebanon. And I was explaining to him how I got, how I got accepted to UWC Dilijan and suddenly two guys uh, listened and heard what I was saying and they were like, you're from Dilijan? I was like, yeah, and they were like, we are too, we're your second years and here they are. Hello, welcome to Dilijan, we're very excited to see you uh, first year. We're second year from Mexico, Venezuela, so, yeah. yeah. See you, see you on Tuesday. See you. See you on Tuesday. So now we just came to this uh, amazing restaurant, it's called Rich, Rich Garden and it has such a nice view and the atmosphere is amazing. I think this is how we're going to end the day and then I'm going to edit this video.